Hi, I'm Rich Brown, Senior Editor for CNET. Today we're going to take a look at the Asus ET2700i. So this is a $1399 all-in-one and it comes with a large 27-inch display. That's a relatively new screen size for PC all-in-ones. And this is not quite as high resolution as the display that you get with the 27-inch Apple iMac. That resolution is 25 by 14. This is 19 by 10, aka 1080p. That said, the resolution on the screen is still high enough that you can play a Blu-ray movie or any other high-definition content and have it look pretty great. So it's important to know that this is not a touchscreen. From what I've heard from a number of vendors, touchscreens in the 27-inch size are prohibitively expensive for the consumer market. So this is a non-touch display. I've got a feeling a lot of you won't really miss the touch input. Now at $1399, this is a pretty expensive Windows PC. It's fair that Asus might charge a premium for such a large display, but you also get a dedicated subwoofer, which you get over here, as well as a Core i7 CPU and a dedicated NVIDIA graphics card. Now that makes the system more powerful than the HP Omni 27, which we've seen. It's also a 27-inch Windows all-in-one. Uh, still, it's a little bit pricey for its performance, and there's a Lenovo all-in-one that actually has a 23-inch display, but that's much faster and actually has 3D display capability. So what you might want to buy from all these high-end all-in-ones kind of depends on what your needs are. Of those three I mentioned, the Asus is the most expensive, but it's also the most well-rounded given its high-end specs as well as its large screen. You'll note I didn't mention the subwoofer is a benefit for the Asus and among those other systems because it's not quite powerful enough to really make a big difference. So going over the hardware, you can see there's a nice clean design here, a little webcam up top. You can see there's some ports in the door here. Here's where the subwoofer connects. There's also a couple other audio ports, some USB 3 outs, those are very common now, an SD card reader and an eSATA port. There's also a few other ports on the back of the system, a couple of the USB 2s, uh, VGA input as well as HDMI input. Those video inputs are great, they make the system a lot more versatile because you can effectively use it as a second monitor. And then rounding out the unit, over here on the right side there's a Blu-ray drive. Now it's certainly fair to ask with touch-oriented Windows 8 coming around the corner why you'd be interested in a non-touch all-in-one. I think the large 27-inch screen pretty much speaks for itself. It creates a nice big space for productivity and it also lets you use the system in say a dorm room or an office for some home entertainment. So I'm Rich Brown, this is the Asus ET2700i.